side. So you're gonna go right kick. Um, actually, I'll do it. So I'll go right kick to your body. So this hand's gonna stay up, and this hand's gonna come over and reinforce. So I'm gonna right kick to your body. Yep. Right there one more time. So have your hands up, and then bring it over. Yep. And then you're gonna do it to me. Right kick comes up. Yep. And then use my arms to push off. So you'll feel me push off your arms to get that to my stance. Yeah, with my shin. Okay. So I'm gonna push off you. Do you want to do that when you regularly? Just yeah. Push, push off. off, or else you're gonna Go kick to hard it. and fall down in front every time. So. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, tuck your elbow in a little bit tighter. Hang here, and then bring this. This one's awkward for me, I don't know why. Don't lean away from it. Keep your arms up here. Yeah. Keep your arms up. I just leaned away from it. Yeah, it's all good. It's scary, dude. You wanna, you wanna go with your instincts. Nice, good. So let's go, kick, come down, right punch. Um, so cross hook. Let's go, cross hook, cross. Um, I feel like we've been doing this a lot. That'd be a little awkward on the, the kick. We yeah. could do that. It's better with the, be the lead leg stepping down yeah. or even shifting. Um, okay, let's just do this. High kick to the body, come down, cross hook, and then kick low to the thigh. With the right leg. Yeah, so I'll do it first. So it's gonna be kick to the body, bang, come down, cross hook, and then kick to the leg. Make sure you aim right above the kneecap on the IT band. A little bit. Have a training program that you do outside of fighting training, like for my own. Um, I do a lot of stuff on my own, dude. Like when I first got started, I would just go out and practice different shit. But um, as of right now, the the best thing that I have is like a program that talks about all ranges. styles for the rule set that you're going into. So I made a program, it's called Blueprint Alliance Music Channel. Um, that one went pretty deep into range, and I feel like that is, um, like, in terms of, for me, what I've studied, one, one of the more cohesive things in terms of learning striking, because, like, it doesn't matter how many combinations you know or how much footwork, if you don't know where to apply it and when, the timing of it, like, within distance and space, it's useless. You 
gonna have guys trying to punch out here, like when that's not the time to punch, you know? Um, so that is probably like where I would start, like understanding range, understanding distance, even for advancing, it's something you could all, I always come back to, bro. Like before every one of my fights, I'll write that down. I'll write down like the ranges that I'm using, long, mid, and close, and then my objectives from there. And usually it goes exactly how I wrote it out. It's interesting. Um, let's go uppercut, hook, cross. So um, we're gonna go uppercut, wait, actually the other one, uppercut, little hook, cross, inside leg kick. Yep. And let's double up on that. So uppercut, hook, cross, inside leg kick, come back. Body kick. So it's gonna be oh, oh. So, so it's inside. Yep. Yeah, and you can even come back so you can go inside, come back, body. Yeah. So uppercut hook cross, uppercut hook cross inside, bang, body, yeah, nice. So uppercut, hook, cross, inside leg kick, come back, body. Nice. How was that? Band on your leg? Good. Cool. Yeah. Usually I use tape. Yeah, no. <laughs> it looks perfect. <laughs> Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, you're like, oh shit, I gotta block that. Let it let it wrap across your arms. <clears throat> yep. Almost like you're swinging a baseball bat. If that's how you swing a baseball bat. Notice you hit with your foot a few times. That's okay. It's going to give you longer distance to get your head out of the way. Um, your foot is likely to get injured on somebody's knee. Yeah, for for longer range, that's okay. You want to keep your head out of the way, but you want to try to drive your shin in there. Yeah. <clears throat> work on something um, a little more movement based this one's really awesome so what you're gonna do is take a um, <clears throat> a step back and you're gonna shift your stance so anytime that we um, go from orthodox to southpaw or vice versa it's called a shift okay so this would be a shift this would be a step because I'm in the same stance so what we're gonna do is shift back so you're gonna walk towards me really really slow I'm gonna take a step back, uh, switch your stance. So I'm gonna be the one that's shifting my stance. And then you're gonna come in and block the body kick. Okay. So my, I'm using my footwork to bait you in, and then I'm gonna fire the moment that you I see. you cross that line. I see. So we're here. And then I'm gonna switch. And then I... Yep. So what you're gonna do is take a step back, they take a step forward, bang, you fire the kick. So I'm gonna take a step back, take a step forward, bang. Yep, and then it's your turn. Okay. 
you take a step back. Now I think that you want to take a step back first. Yeah. So you're going to take a step back first. So boom, I'm coming in. Okay. Just plant your feet and then shoot. Okay. No extra movement. So, so plant, it's quick. Kick. Yeah. So it's, <clears throat> it's back. Bang, right away. Yep. It's like a button you push. You're here and then here. Release. Yeah, nice. That's that's good. So that's like if they're just someone who comes forward all the time. Really good for forward fighters. Maybe you back them off and then, or maybe you back them off here. Yeah. That, whatever leg is forward is really versatile because you could do so many different things with it. Um, you could move forward, you could stand still. You could use your push kick, you could use your switch knee, your switch kick, you could step back and then come forward again and use that kick. So it's really versatile, like in, in what you can do. Um, so it's important to get good at that tool because it's the closest one to your your opponent and it's the longest striking arsenal that you have, right? right? Your kick, specifically the side kick. <clears throat> so we're here, hands up, you're coming in. This arm in super tight. Don't let this one. Yeah. Good. You're good. Don't move forward just yet. So keep yeah, this distance. Okay. Keep this distance here. Scoot back just a little bit more. Right there. Now when you feel me scoot back, start walking in. And then walk. Yeah. But don't be in a rush to move forward. Like so, see, so many like watch amateurs, uh, like a big psychological thing that people go through is like, they feel that they need to entertain all the time. Like it's okay to be patient here and do nothing. But you're not doing anything. You're still doing a lot of shit, but people don't understand that. They want to see Ooh, fight, like, like, no, fuck you, dude. You're not the one in here. So <laughs> be, be patient in this range and then feel that when you go back. So go for it. So go forward? Uh, no, no, no. You're going you're gonna to go back. So I'll come at you. Yeah. Yep. So feel that. Feel that distance. Feel that long range. Yep. Yeah, nice. So that would be like, I'm coming here and you fired in hard, yeah. Um, typically when people come in with hands, they'll drop on either side. The more power you put into it, the less technique you'll have. So when people rah, coming in, they're more likely to drop their hands ah, here. Let's do that a few more times each. 